Good morning. My name is Madalina Handra Dragan, and for this conference, I have prepared interesting results regarding structured polymeric platforms for bioapplication. Uh, today, I'm going to pass through the following topics by taking them one by one. Nanotechnology is an ongoing improving field which brings various applications involving micro and nanostructures. In the last decade, there has been a rapid development of technology that stands on adapting or creating new materials with various periodic surface relief patterns. Uh, various current nanotechnological advancements uh, have shown that pattern substrates can be the next step for modern technology. The purpose of this research was to obtain clear and effect-free thin films of polystyrene, which were further used to generate periodic surface relief patterns that can be easily reproduced. Furth furthermore, the pattern polymeric material was filled in with various colloidal structures by guided deposition. These functional structures can be used to investigate optoelectronic properties. Firstly, thin film deposition was done on a glass substrate previously exposed to a, view, uh, to a UV ozone treatment. For this, we have used a solution of polystyrene dissolved in toluene with the concentration of 200 milligrams per milliliter. And this was deposited via spin casting on a glass solid substrate. This, this, this technique was employed in order to obtain a layer of polymer by rotating um, and spreading the specific material, as you can see in the figure one. The result was a highly uniform, transparent, thin film. The next step was to create relief patterns, which were obtained by employing top-down methodologies such as thermal nano-imprint lithography. We have used a PDMS mold of four micrometer period for transferring the specific uh, structure of the mold to our polymeric thin film. This was done at a higher temperature than the glass transition temperature. Also, we have mechanically pressed the mold against the melted polymer while heating to ensure a good uniformity when patterning. As you can see in figure three, some gratings are formed on the thin film. And in figure number four, I have prepared two optical images using different objectives. At this point, we have successfully developed periodical gratings of polystyrene. Furthermore, we have introduced colloidal structures into the pattern in order to create multifunctional periodic surfaces. For this, we have made an acquisition of fluorescent polystyrene spherical particles of different diameters and colors from Sferotech. Uh, the methods used were both convective self-assembly and brush painting for spreading and guiding the colloidal suspension into the patterns. Both, both of these methods are time effective and they can also be implemented manually, even for large areas. In the images below, I have attached optical images of the results. As you can see, we can obtain a good feeling of the groups. These two sets of images uh, were taken by using different objectives for a better identification of the structures. Moreover, we have used scanning electron microscopy imaging, and as you can see, our various samples show a good feeling of the groups. Our next step was to characterize these functional structures. In this slide, I have attached the PL emission spectra for all of our samples. The PL emission of the particle is, uh, particles is compared between a film cast deposition of the particles on a, on a glass substrate and our structures presented until now. The colored spectral lines, as you can see here, are for the casting non casted particles and the black ones are for the particles in channels. We can identify an interesting blue shift for our samples. The next colloidal nanoparticles used for filling the channels were gold nanoparticles. The method used in this case was convective self-assembly and the image presented is an optical image. This type of structured platform based on gold nanoparticles has a promising potential in future biological applications. Therefore, in our experiment, we have shown that clear thin a clear thin films can be easily obtained in a reproducible manner 
and they can be patterned via nano imprint lithography. These structures have a potential in nanotechnology as functional devices. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>